out at this point, right? Give us an idea of kind of how things are going, how you, how you feeling going into this uh, big, big fight. I'm excited, man. We've been having a really good training camp. Uh, the usual bumps and bruises here and there, but I think uh, February 17th is going to be the coming out party for the Funk Fest. Nice. So it's a, it's a new era, right? The ESPN era. And I mean, I know we're on ESPN Plus tonight, but you guys are going to be, you know, big time ESPN, right? Does that add something to it for you? 100%. I went to ended the Fox era. Spectacular fight, great performance, and I'm looking to follow that up. In Phoenix, the first ever ESPN card, the big ESPN. So this is a, it's a monumental moment for both of us in terms of Jimmy and I. So I know he's going to be looking to put on a, a, a great performance, and I can't wait to get out there and mix it up. Is this a, a, an emotional fight for you at all? I mean, is there anything personal in this fight, or, or, or are you trying to keep that out of it? You know what? We've had our backs and forth for like five, I think like five or six years now at this point. And uh, we finally get to lock it up. So it's going to be, I, like I said, I saw some comments. You know, sometimes I stalk my opponent's Instagram page and their social medias. I like to see what they're up to, you know, make sure they're not outworking me. So uh, <laughs> I don't know, I'm a little crazy like that. But I saw some of the comments on one of his pictures, and someone said, like, Sterling has no hands or Aljo has no hands. I'm like, one, we're not friends. You don't talk about me like that. And you don't use that nickname. Those are for my friends. And two, I just put hashtag we will see. Because we're going to find out. I guarantee I'm going to piece him up. And that's the game plan. Piece him up, take him down, choke his ass out. What do you feel like the stakes of the fight are? I mean, this is, you guys are top ranked contenders, man. Do you feel like there's title shots or, or, or number one contender fights on the line now? 100%. Both of us lost to Marlon. Kudos to him. But uh, I think this is going to be, this one's going to propel the next guy forward in terms of who's going to be the next guy in line. I know Cody's fighting Pedro Munoz, but I think he, especially if TJ wins tonight, I think he needs to win more than just one fight to get his name back in the mix for another shot of the title. So I think it's really going to be between Jimmy and I, and we're going to see what's going to happen, man. Uh, I know he's going to be working his ass off. I put in a ton of work. Just came back from sparring, fresh out of sparring. I ate two oranges today, protein <laughs> shake. I just had a Shake Shack burger. I'm feeling larger in charge right now. I'm slim and mean. I can't fucking wait to go. So uh, on the MA hour, Ryan Hall gave you a shout out, said he really liked your, your style. Uh, coming from him, um, what did that feel like? That was cool, man, because I, I watched that guy a lot, looking at all his Imanari roles, his leg lock, the 50 50 game, and it was sick to see him actually go out there and submit someone like BJ Penn. I didn't think BJ was going to tab, I thought BJ was going to find a way out, but he turned the wrong way. And it's just kind of crazy when you see that. Like this, I don't want to say it's father time, but it's kind of like father time, and you kind of see the passing of the torch, especially with the guy who's made his career off of submissions and just being nasty and ruthless, crazy dexterity in his knees, and he goes out there and loses via submission, a heel hook at that Imanari role, which I don't think we've seen in like years. So for him to give me some props, that's cool to know that he's someone like him who's watching me and trying to take stuff from my game, because I'm taking stuff from his game for sure. And I know you guys know I've been working on my Imanari role, so if you don't know what's gonna happen. Everybody say to you, I'm excited for this shit. What do you think of tonight's main event? Tonight's main event is going to be great. I think it's going to be a good way to, to kick off the ESPN partnership with the UFC. I'm um, really looking forward to it because my thing right now is how much power is TJ going to lose getting down to 125? And people say, oh, he sucked out and making a big issue about the weight, but I don't think it's that. If you look at a Max Holloway, you look at the, uh, the Conor McGregor's, those guys who are cutting down to 145, uh, the big guys are cutting down to 35, they look just like TJ looks at 25. TJ should be at 25. But he's been killing everyone at 35, so why does he need to cut down those extra 10 pounds if he's winning already at 135? So that's the way I look at it. Now that he's down, I think it's going to be a pretty competitive matchup. I see Sayudo doing good, but my thing about Sayudo is he's got world-class wrestling. The difference is TJ is going out there to finish fights, where Sayudo is more so. He's looking to do inside trips, and I'm going to let you know right now, inside leg trip, especially outside in the street, it's not, it's not putting no one away. They fall on their butt. Maybe they, maybe they hit the back of their head on a concrete, you know what I'm saying? Where TJ, he's taking you down, and he's looking to posture up and throw punches, and he's looking to knock you out on the feet. I think that's going to be the, the, the difference in that matchup. I'm excited to see it. I, I have TJ winning, but I think uh, so was, he's a gamer. He knows how to keep the match, the fights close, and he knows how to still, still win. So it should be, should be a battle of wolves for this one. Last one for me. You're a man known for your, your dress and your fashion, and tonight's another spectacular one, I have to say. What do you think of the new year to title belt? I thought it was pretty cool. I, I saw someone post like a meme with like the Power Ranger. I thought that was hysterical. David White in the, power, the black Power Ranger suit. 
Um, because it does look like it. <laughs> but now that, now that they actually put that together, I thought that was pretty hysterical. But um, just the meaning with everything, with the gems and all that, the red gems, the other gems, and them engraving everything with the other countries and stuff like that, I think that's pretty cool. So I think it's going to actually have a lot more meaning to it. And it's going to be something that, I think they only give it out one per fight now, right? And they're just going to keep adding gems to it. So it's going to be cool to have the belt and just keep slowly adding to the collection. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Cool. See my muscles through my